Uh, hello, everybody. What the flick? Alonzo Duralde, Christy Lemire, Ben Mankiewicz. The president has been shot. No. Again. Again. <laughs> this time it's a comedy. Um, this is Parkland. It takes place on November 22nd, 1963, the day that JFK was shot in Dallas. So this is not really about the assassination. It's about all the peripheral people who are involved, be they ER, trauma, surgeons, or the Secret Service agents, or the FBI, or the reporters, um, even Jackie Kennedy. And so it's all about how they um, operate around this horrific event. Take a look. It's the president. He's coming in. He's probably got the flu. We do not know officially. It's had just a little pieces. Doctor. Uh, who's the attendant? Right now, it is just you. It's a very undignified end for a very dignified man. We had the assassin of the president in our office 10 days ago. We had him, and we could have stopped him. So I kind of like some things about this because it so comes right. at an event that we all really know from a mm. totally different perspective. It's not about the big picture, like loss of American innocence. It is not about the conspiracy theories. It's about the nuts and bolts minutia that never would have occurred to me. Like you have to get a coffin on a plane. You can't put him with the cargo. You have to right. rip seats <laughs> out of the plane. First you have to get the coffin up the stairway to get him into it, the it's, plane. Yeah, it's things like that. It's kind of like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Yeah, where like, yeah. let's, let's go to the side characters and see how that goes, which it's I clever. like. I like the idea, and it's funny. Playtone produced this movie with mm -hmm. Tom Hanks's company, and they did you know the Pacific and Band of Brothers and whatever that space one that HBO did the miniseries. Oh, uh, uh, right. For all Apollo thirteen. No, 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 that was the movie. The, yeah, uh, that, you know that thing. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yes, that one exactly. <laughs> the moon. My, the moon. Yes, yeah. my stepmother's an alien. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, and I thought this this. This is a rare movie that I thought wasn't good but needed to be 10 hours long. Because <laughs> I like the idea of let's do the supporting characters and the people with the side business, but you don't really get to know so many of them. I mean, Marsha Gay Harden pops up as this emergency room nurse. You think, okay, wow, Marsha Gay Harden, this is gonna be cheap. She, she plays a nurse. Jackie and, Earl Haley. And she does think, yeah, you know, yeah, Jackie, Jackie Earl has Earl one Haley. scene as a priest who lives with and then line. he leaves. Yeah, he seemed like, oh wow, Jackie Earl Haley's here, and then he gets one line. So, and he leaves. Yeah, yeah, so like, so you, you get a few moments with Paul Giamatti as Abraham Zapruder, a few, and you get a few moments with James Badge Dale, whom we love, he is everywhere. Uh, as Oswald's brother, who I didn't even know Oswald had a brother. There you yeah. go, we learned yeah. so much. So I would have liked another dozen of those, okay. but instead we get those two characters, and then all these familiar faces, oh, Ron okay. Livingston, and you know, da -da, as as these people who never register and never get to do anything because the movie has no time for them. Ron Livingston is good in this. He has a really crucial he's role. In he's no, the FBI he's, agent he's, on the team. Yeah. I think he has an incredibly uncrucial role. He has Why? a useless role because we don't even see how the FBI is remotely related to the investigation. We don't, he, you know, we get the... Uh, because, because they because, knew Oswald. And that they, was they, he botches, he's a fall guy. He's the... Yeah, but they didn't make him a fall guy. They did, though. They shipped him off to Kansas City. Right, but nobody <laughs> thinks that the FBI yeah. blew it. Like, it's not a thing that... Because he had to burn the file. Hence the conspiracy theories. That <laughs> but, like, Ron Livingston, who I really... He's in every movie mm -hmm. and every television show as he showed up on Boardwalk Empire. And he's... You know why he's in everything? Because he's great. He's always he's good. He's uh, Really good. And he's really good in this, except, like, that, to me, that FBI part felt so outside of everything else that was happening. First of all, we never saw him leave the office to <laughs> investigate, to do anything. What were they yeah. doing? Like, they were hearing it on the radio. Like, it's the frickin' FBI. They're, get out there, talk to people. <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, I agree with Alonzo that this was a, a, a HBO miniseries mm -hmm. on the people around the Kennedy assassination that doesn't delve into whether Oswald acted alone. He didn't, um, mm -hmm. and, and and all of those things was would have been really interesting. This just seemed to like touch down, barely scratch the yeah, surface. It's of short. It's only an hour and a half long. Yeah, they should have called mm -hmm. it previously on Parkland because I mean it's. <laughs> You're right. It could yeah. be a TV series. Because like yeah, that. I mean, right, I just yeah. I felt like because you, you you know it's it's that whole the greatest story ever told syndrome where every single person in the movie is recognizable even if they aren't like a big star like uh, uh, Ron Livingston's boss at the FBI is David Harbor from from mm -hmm. Newsroom you know and so you Tom keep Tom Welling is one of the Tom Welling agents, is a secret yes. service agent and you, so you keep thinking okay well obviously if they cast this person they're gonna there's gonna be some payoff later nope. 
Well, you know who else? No, nope, they're going to wear the suit and be there for five seconds and then they're gone. Jackie Weaver's kind of funny as Oswald's mom. Yeah. Billy, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy, Billy Bob, Bob Thornton's Thornton's in it. He's yes. good. He's very good in it. I mean, yes. not, no surprise. And so, yeah, I just. I just Mark it, Duplass is in it. Mark Duplass. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I, I yeah. I turned so. to Claudio. I'm like, Mark Duplass is in everything. <laughs> like, he is the FBI. Is Jack, he Secret Service. Secret yeah. Service. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie Weaver is Oswald's mom. Yeah, yeah. So I just. So I just. I kind of kept feeling this movie is setting us up for something that it doesn't have the physical space to deliver, which is all these characters. Like, you know what, make a movie about the nurse. Make a movie about Marsha Gay Harden as the nurse. That would have been, that would have been 90 minutes. A whole movie about Oswald's brother. Or, yeah, or Zapruder, like or any yeah. one of those characters you could have made a story about. The 48 hours of that nurse getting the Kennedy, getting JFK in there dead on mm -hmm. arrival. And, with then, his head. and, then, and then, then two Oswald days later up. with dead in the same room. You know that that that's that's a, story. that's a story. That's a story. Who's a, I don't know that you guys would have got this because I don't. My guess is you neither of you watched Twenty Four. Mm. But, no, but somebody told me about right, this. Right, <laughs> Glenn Morshauer played the main Secret Service agent through the run of Twenty Four mm -hmm. for all the different presidents, and he was a good guy. And he plays the Secret Service agent who sort of shepherds Oswald's brother James Badge Dale through this. Oh. And so here's the Secret Service, agent, and he pl and the guy his name was Mike, I think in both. Oh. <laughs> and the theater mm. laughed when he shows up as a Secret Service agent. And I don't know whether it was because six of us there were like, <laughs> 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 I don't know whether that's intentional, but it was interesting. Also, we've not said the word Zac Efron yet. No. Oh, right. Speaking yeah. of how big this cast is, Zac Efron is the the brilliant young Trump and, and, and Colin Hanks, Colin Hanks and uh, yeah, I, yeah. Again, it's like. All these, all these faces, all these terrific character actors, and 90 minutes. Like, sorry, you and each get eight ideas. seconds, and then we're, you're ideas. out. So, sorry, so I, 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 I wish uh, there had been more. I give it a five. You didn't give it a five. Didn't I? You oh, four. 4.4, 4. 4. 4. 4. sorry. I gave it a five. I'm you gave wrong. it a five. I gave it a five. Like, the beginning in the hospital is good stuff, but then it doesn't, it couldn't, it right, to I'll, 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 I'll go five, because okay. I mean, five. for, for intent, five so five yeah. yeah. So it's a five average, it's a 53% on the tomato meter. So, like, you know, learn some things. It's interesting. Uh, if, you, if you ever wonder that sometimes bad movies would be better if they were longer, this is one of them. <laughs> 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 this is one of them. That's right.